Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for not sharing my inheritance with my sister? Okay, I'll be the first to admit that I can let my emotions get the better of me and I know it's not my sister's fault, but this is all still so raw for me. I, 22 female, recently lost my paternal grandma and I'm heartbroken. The first eight years of my life, she was my primary caregiver because my parents both worked full time and we had a special bond. During summer I had hadn't washed my hands properly and accidentally stained one of her books she had. It was part of a collection that she had started when she was a little girl, and I got really scared. I cried, thinking my grandmother would hate me, and hid the book. When my parents picked me up, I told them what I had done, and they said that they would handle it. Later they sat me and my sister, 18 female, down and told us that grandma decided that she didn't want to be a grandparent anymore, and not be a part of our lives. I thought my grandma was angry about the book and hated me. I was devastated and cried hard and begged my parents to let me see her and apologize. They wouldn't do that and told me it would get better in the future and that I still had my maternal grandma, but it wasn't the same. We moved away not too long after that and I spent the rest of my formative years worrying that if I ever made a mistake people would stop loving me. As a teen I wanted to reach out to her again but my parents either tried to persuade me not to or said that they would pass the message along for me, but got no response. Now I know that my parents are the biggest liars on the planet. Turns out that my mom cheated and my sister wasn't my dad's bio kid. In the beginning, my dad was going to leave them both but decided to stick it out, my grandma wasn't happy but supported his choice to stay with my mom and would babysit my sister too, but she did not want to take a grandmotherly role in her life. Eventually, my parents gave her an ultimatum, either she'd be a grandmother to my sister too and love us equally, or she'd never see me again. My grandma called their bluff and they followed through. All this time I thought my grandma didn't love me anymore and that I was the cause of it, but it had nothing to do with me. I was furious and moved out a few days later. I finally reached out to her myself, and by then she was sick and died a few months later. I'm glad that we were able to spend some time together and was surprised that she left me some money. Like pay off all my student loans, buy a decently used car and still have some later over. My parents found out and they want me to share it with my sister. I was upset by this and reminded them of the damage they caused me and the years I lost with my grandma, and that the money doesn't make up for it. I told them that just because they put themselves and my sister before me doesn't mean I have to put them before me too, and wasn't going to give her a cent. My parents are calling me petty and selfish but given the circumstances it's falling on deaf ears but on the off chance, am I the a-hole? Edit 1, ok just wanted to add in more information because I keep seeing the same question slash comments. 1. This isn't about punishing my sister. I know she's innocent in this and that my mom deserves the majority of the blame. I don't want to share the money because my parents showed no remorse for what they did to me and demanded that I share. 2. Yes, my sister knows that another man is her bio dad. He and his mother are still alive, so if my sister wanted to, she could have a loving relationship with two grandmothers while all mine is still dead. It basically salt in the wound right now. 3. The affair was discovered before my sister was born. So my grandma didn't just one day stop loving my sister like a granddaughter, she never had that bond in the first place. 4. One of the things my grandma and I talked about was her reluctance to view my sister as her granddaughter. Her reasoning was that, she didn't want to get too attached on the off chance that things went wrong. She did not think my parents' marriage would last and that's why she called their bluff. 5. For years my grandmother tried to reach out to see me, but my parents refused. It was one of the reasons why we moved so she couldn't find us or send me letters. Edit 2. 1. Also, again, I told my parents about the book so they knew that I thought my grandma hated me over it and had no problem letting me live on like that. 2. My sister was around 4 when we stopped seeing my grandma so she doesn't really remember her and I honestly think she doesn't care about the relationship. Especially since she's closer to our maternal grandmother. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. Your parents are psychopaths. Yep. OP, your grandmother wanted you to know that you're loved. She wanted to take care of you, just like she did when you were little. That's why she left you the money. You reached out to her and reconnected at the end of her life, your sister and parents did not. Don't share the money your grandmother left you. She did exactly what she wanted with it. Your parents are very cruel. They'll tell you that your sister is innocent in all of this, and they're right but that is not a reason to give her money that belonged to your grandma and not hers. As you said she has another grandma she could try to connect with if she so chose. You poor thing thinking your grandma didn't want to see you anymore because of the book. 
you must have been racked with guilt, when it was stupid adult problems all along. Also, again, I told my parents about the book so they knew that I thought my grandma hated me over it and had no problem letting me live on like that. Seriously. This is such an incredibly cruel thing to do to a child. They let little child OP think that her accident caused grandma to hate them all. That has got to screw with her head and how she deals with all kinds of relationships throughout her life. Then to find out it was all a lie? No wonder she doesn't feel like sharing that money because her parents told her to do it. Not the a-hole. If your grandmother wanted to leave money to your sister, then she would have. Your parents are major the a-hole for not letting you see your grandma for years. If your sister is upset, she should be upset at your mom not you. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my mom I'm tired of being treated like the adult? I, 16 female, have a complicated relationship with my mom. After my sister died, my parents' marriage fell apart and she moved on with her husband. She kind of left my well-being behind in it all and then she threw herself into making the marriage work. She has tried really hard to bond with his daughter and goes out of her way to try and give her everything, maybe even more than her husband, who I do not have a positive relationship with. It has even spread into my mom giving me crap when my dad buys me anything or takes me any place that her stepdaughter has expressed an interest in. But she and her husband never expect her mom to include me. One time, my dad was taking me to Disney for a weekend and she threw a huge fit because he wouldn't take her husband's daughter with us, and she got so mad at me for not making my dad take her too. She told me I needed to be grown up enough to advocate for my sister, and that I needed to be a good and responsible sister. Another time my grandma got us both dresses for a family party. The other girl wanted mine because it was a color she liked, and even though I loved it and had picked it myself, my mom gave it to her and made me wear the other one. She told me to be mature and grown up about it. Which annoys the hell out of me most of all because she and I are the same age. And I'm only 4 months older. But apparently, I'm the big sis which I don't consider myself. I'll always be the little sister, to my actual sister. Anyway, I decided last year to stop coming to my mom's as much and my dad helped figure that out in court. Then when lockdown was ordered, my mom tried to get me to stay there and I said no. Then she started asking and I told her I needed space. It then became a constant and I eventually told her I'm sick of being treated like the adult in the relationship. Being expected to act as a go-between for her and my dad when he won't agree to her crap, and expected to put someone else's feelings above mine all the time. I told her I am still meant to be her kid and one of the two kids in her household but she treats me more like I'm one of the parents. She decided that was a horrible thing to say, because I'm old enough to act mature and more like a young adult than a child. She said I was being an a-hole pulling back for a reason like that. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. Your feelings are 100% justified and you have already explained them incredibly well to your mom. I get that she has been through something deeply traumatic by losing a child, but so have you. Stick with your dad. You have nothing to feel guilty about. There is no reasoning with certain people. She may never acknowledge how unfair and hurtful she is being to you. It's hard but there's nothing you can do. Jumping onto top comment to say. OP what your mom makes you do isn't called behaving like an adult, it's called being okay with being treated as lesser than someone who is meant to be your equal. Giving away your things and forcing you to be a mediator between her and your dad, is abusive and is not considered being an adult or being mature. In fact you did the mature thing to pull yourself out of a situation that was detrimental to you. Not the a-hole. It sounds like she has some serious issues to work on and it's ridiculous of her to expect her school-aged child to be more adult than she is. By mature, she means she wants you to be a doormat for her new family. Good for you and your dad for recognizing that you need space away from her. Also voting not the a-hole, and I agree that the mom's use of mature is wildly inappropriate. The way I see it, OP is the mature one in this situation. Her mother isn't even parenting well enough to remove her from a situation where she's being neglected and emotionally abused, OP had to do it herself. That's very mature in my opinion. I also can barely believe the word mature will come out of the mouth of the woman who resorts to name calling her own child because she didn't get her way. She's acting like a spoiled brat. Not the a-hole. Your mom is making the perfect situation for her to lose her other daughter too. Hopefully being super mom to her stepdaughter brings her comfort in her old age. Not the a-hole, you hit the nail on the head with many of the reasons why. At this point, why not aim for your dad having sole custody and going no contact with her? Next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my brother I won't stop supporting and being there for my nephews? 
So my brother has two sons from his first marriage who are 16 male and 14 male. My brother's first wife slash their mom died a decade ago, and he remarried eight years ago. The boys have pretty much never accepted his wife as their mom. I don't believe they treated her badly, but they didn't treat her how my brother and his wife wanted her to be treated. They wanted their dad for everything, wanted him to keep bringing them to school, wanted him for bedtime and stuff like that. The oldest would especially ask for that. And my brother would always say he couldn't, but their stepmom would. It got to the point where after three years, and when my younger nephew told them she wasn't his mom age 8 after two years of them being married, they got the boys counseling and started family therapy. Nothing changed. They had two kids together. Nothing changed. The boys are much closer to each other than their younger siblings. I honestly don't know that they interact with the little ones at all. It got bad several months ago. They were doing virtual sessions where the therapist was trying to help them set boundaries with my brother and sister-in-law when my younger nephew said something that changed things. The therapist was asking him to say something along the lines of stepmom, I love you and I appreciate you, but I don't want to call you mom because I feel like that is something special for my mom. My nephew said no, and when asked why, he said it would be a lie because he doesn't love her. My older nephew chimed in saying he felt the same. And ever since, my brother has been pissed and the boys have been treated different by them. Neither mind. Which drives my brother and sister-in-law crazy. My brother had the attitude if they didn't appreciate what she did, then they could take care of more for themselves, but both seem to be thriving with it and not missing her. I don't like it and nothing has changed with my nephews. They have opened up to me about how they just never grew to love her. My older nephew said it's not that he doesn't appreciate her trying and being nice but he just doesn't love her and they both admitted had the marriage failed, which it almost did pre-lockdown, then they would have chosen not to see her on a regular basis and would not have wanted her in their lives really. My brother is pissed that I am still close to the boys and treating them as normal. He told me they believe treating their mom this way is okay because I have no problem with it. I told him he can't force them to feel a certain way and I certainly wasn't going to punish them for being honest in therapy. A friend told me that the boys have been really unfair and they feel supported and validated in treating my sister-in-law horribly, and maybe I should follow their lead for a while. What do you all think? Am I wrong here? Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. So wait. Your brother is giving his sons the cold shoulder, and expects you to do the same? I don't see anywhere where the boys are acting out or disrespecting their stepmom, just that they haven't inserted her into the mom role in the family? Your brother and sister-in-law are a-holes. Keep being there for the boys. Not the a-hole. Pretty much. I think the closest you could say they got to acting out was when my younger nephew cried age 6 because my brother was going away for the weekend and he was really upset they were being left with stepmom. And again, he was 6 and she was newly their stepmom. Other than that, they might be distant in that they haven't accepted her in the way wanted by the adults, but they haven't acted out or been disrespectful either, though my brother sees it differently. I wouldn't call that acting out, just a baby who lost his mom having some separation anxiety with his only surviving parent. Honestly, sounds like your bro is using therapy as a way to fix, make, your nephews feel the right way about their stepmom. I feel like he and sister-in-law need therapy too, separately. Yeah, they wanted to stay with me or another family member, so I guess they wanted someone more familiar. Not the a-hole. Parents listen up. You can't force your kids to like your new spouse, hard stop. They aren't nor will they ever replace their other parent. It is 100% on the side of the children to choose how to interact and should you force them you're the bigger a-hole for forcing your child into a relationship they never wanted. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for not letting my son play organized sports? I have an 8-year-old son. His father and I are not married, but we share custody and I like to think we co-parent pretty well. I wouldn't even go so far as to call his father my ex, we barely dated, it was more of a fling. I don't use birth control and while we did use protection, it either broke or failed and I ended up pregnant. The father felt he wasn't ready to be a parent, and neither of us saw us working together in a relationship, but I decided to still go forward with the pregnancy and the dad did step up although a little reluctantly. We haven't had any major disagreements on our co-parenting until recently. My son wants to sign up to play organized sports. He says that all of his friends play baseball, or soccer, or hockey, or basketball. So, he wants to play too. But I've always felt that athletics are, for lack of a better word, dumb. I get the importance of physical fitness, but I feel there are other ways to obtain that than organized sports. 
I think organized sports are toxic and that thrusting that kind of competition on young kids is detrimental to their development. I would be fine if he wanted to do ballet or maybe even gymnastics or swimming, but the things he wants to do are a hard no for me. His father is totally fine with our son doing sports, and I feel that is where my son is getting this idea. So, I called him to talk about it and let him know that we aren't going to sign up our son for baseball or soccer this spring. Well, it turned into an argument. He basically said that he was going to sign him up for a sport this spring whether I liked it or not. He said our son wants to do it and we should let him decide on his own whether or not it's something he wants to do and that forbidding it is only going to make him want to do it more. He said he would pay for everything, do all the practices and games and I didn't need to do anything. He said he would even come pick him up from my place when our son is with me so I wouldn't need to be involved at all. I told him, I absolutely would not allow our son to be involved in that sort of thing and that when he was with me, he wouldn't be going. I said I can't 100% control what happens when our son is with his dad, but when he's with me, I get to say what happens. I said if he wanted to do ballet or gymnastics or something less competitive and toxic, maybe we can talk about it. His dad laughed at me and asked if I actually thought ballet and gymnastics were non-competitive. He said those are some of the most toxic environments, much worse than baseball or soccer and that I should stop trying to force our son into only liking things that I approve of. He said I was being an a-hole for trying to keep our son from experiencing things in life that he wants to try, and that I am doing our son a disservice by being so controlling about this. He said he's going to sign our son up even without my approval and hung up on me. I'm just trying to protect my son. Am I the a-hole here? You're the a-hole. Wow. You're denying your son something he's interested in because of your own rather snobbish opinion of organized sports. Honestly, the condescension practically drips from your post. Gymnastics are somehow acceptable, but soccer, the most popular sport in the world and played by millions, is stupid. By the way, your ex is right about how cutthroat and competitive gymnastics and ballet are. There's only one thing stupid here, and it isn't organized sports. I feel sorry for your son for having a mother who is so closed-minded. God, imagine having your head so far up your own butt that she thinks she's doing the right thing. How many other things is OP denying her child for some stupid reason? Hopefully the dad will have 100% custody soon. Am I the only one that sometimes feels the threshold for child abuse is too high when it comes to parents like this? You're the a-hole. You're being so self-centered. Your son is his own person, not an extension of you. Also, you saying you're trying to protect your son makes me want to barf. You're trying to make him more like you, and you know it. You're the a-hole. He is right. Ballet and gymnastics are highly competitive and toxic sports. Ballet is very toxic especially towards POC. So is gymnastics, but ballet dancers can't get shoes in the right color if they aren't white. Your son is 8. He is old enough to have an opinion in his activities. The poor kid wants to play a game and hang out with his friends. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.